There she is. How's Leonidas fitting in? Morale's never been higher. Scouts are reporting Persephone's influence is weakening across Elysium. You're definitely causing havoc out there. I won't rest until it's done. You know, I'm starting to think Elysium isn't such a bad place with you in it. Yes, if only you weren't in love with Aphrodite and trying to overthrow the queen and that everyone else wasn't dead, Elysium would be perfect. All I'm saying is you breathe life into this world filled with dead people. Anyhow, we have a bit of a situation. Of course we do. Persephone's guns have cut off supply lines, overtaken hideouts, secrets in locations she couldn't possibly have known without inside help. We suspect there is a spy in our midst. Who? One is a messenger. She was sent with crucial information to one of our camps. When she didn't return, we sent a scout. The entire camp was killed, and she was nowhere to be found. The other is a blacksmith. Soldiers love to gossip while getting their blade sharpened. We think he may have overheard some of our plans. That's a good start. They both have homes in the village. Return to me once you're done. This must be the messenger's house. Broken piece from one of the torches of Hypnos I destroyed. So Persephone knows we've recruited Leonidas. Detailed information about one of Adonis's rebel camps. Definitely the house of a blacksmith. Hmm. A list of people Adonis has spent time with. Mine and Persephone's names are on this. A note written to Aphrodite. The blacksmith told her everything. Adonis's escape plans, the rebellion. And who's the dirty spy? The messenger or the blacksmith? Both have been spying on you. Both have information that could undo your rebellion. Lousy malakas. My scouts tell me they're on the move. We only have time to dispose of one before they disappear completely. Which is more dangerous to our cause? The blacksmith had a list of people you've spent time with, and a note to Aphrodite outlining your plans for escape. And what about the messenger? She had detailed information about one of your rebel camps, a note to Persephone about Leonidas joining the fight, and a fragment of one of the mind control devices I destroyed. The messenger needs to be stopped. Last I heard, she was spotted at a small rebel camp. You can't escape! Aha! You're mine! <laughs> <laughs> The messenger is dead. The camp was ambushed. I did what I could. Any news on the blacksmith? He escaped. If he reports back to Persephone, many lives are in danger. Our next move needs to be swift and deadly. Meet me later at the palace of the Colossi. I've acquired a little something that will turn Persephone's paradise upside down. Keeper, there you are. The queen is in Defcalion's heritage and requires your presence. She says it's quite urgent. What do you think about my southern realm? I don't come here much anymore. It's lovely. I try to offer a comfortable home to the glorious dead. It helps them accept their fate and keeps them from wandering too far. So when a human wanders and doesn't return, I can't help but take it personally. What am I doing here? When Leonidas was alive, he brought chaos and bloodshed. Hermes spotted him mingling with delinquents recently. We can't have him falling into old habits. If he won't fight with me, then he won't fight at all. Leonidas of Sparta is my grandfather. If you think I'm going to stick a blade in him, you're wrong. 
Hermes told me why you're really in Elysium. That staff of yours. Cross me and you'll fail. But Leonidas means a lot to you. I understand this will be difficult, which is why I'm willing to make you a deal. What kind of deal? Bring me the body of Leonidas, and I will bring back a departed beloved of your choosing. You can do that? I'm queen of the dead, darling. I can do anything. So, who does Cassandra want back in her life? I want to see Phoebe again. Help me protect Elysium from chaos, and you'll see your loved one again. What are you doing out here? There is something I wanted to ask you. Will you fish with me? This is nice. There are so many things I want to talk about. Talk then. After everything you lost at Thermopylae, your men, your wife, your children, Sparta, in the end, was it worth it? Who rules the Greek world right now? Greeks. Then my answer is yes. Mother told me of our bloodline and our ancestors. Did you know? Only what my mother told me. We were born from greatness. And we were destined for greatness. The world was divided in two. Those who wanted us dead, and those who would follow us to the gates of Hades. I imagine the spear was in one piece when it was given to you. My mother handed it to me when I was a boy. Said it came with a certain burden. But... You were ready. It's so peaceful here. I think I got a bite. Get a basket, quickly. Grandfather, I... You are here to kill me. In Sparta, we were trained to spot predators. Long before they bounced. I need Persephone's approval, but she sees you as a threat. If I don't take care of that threat... Why not bring her the head of a greater threat? Who's a greater threat than you? Actually, there is someone. A spy. I delivered him to Persephone as a bodyguard, but... He's working against her from the inside. I am only a threat to her soldiers on the battlefield. A spy threatens the heart of Elysium. Bring her his corpse, and she should be satisfied. Thank you, Grandfather. We should go fishing more often. Phobos, away! Kiros of Zarax? This isn't who I asked for. He's a spy working for the rebellion. But you're the one who first brought him to me. I didn't know his intentions. I trusted you. Guards! Persephone, listen to me. Hermes is right. Trouble's brewing in Elysium. Even though Leonidas is against you, you are much stronger than he is. But Kiros was an enemy you couldn't see. That made him far more dangerous to you and Elysium. But he's still breathing. Death is a gift traitors don't deserve. I thought you'd want to deal with him yourself. Defying me comes at a cost. Our deal is off. 
But for bringing me this vile deceiver, you may stay. Figure out that mysterious little staff of yours. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me. There, I delivered. Your turn. Thank you. Yes, a promise is a promise. I'll bring back your beloved dead. But I'll need your patience. These things take time. this world into paradise to make it bearable and then you arrived and made me blossom please just let me go if you truly wanted to leave you'd have already done it or have you forgotten i wonder if aphrodite would still love you if she knew what a coward you were Not having second thoughts, are you? Persephone is right. She once gave me the chance to leave, but I was too much of a coward to take it. I also found out she sent Leonidas to Tartaros. He was to be our champion. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. Adonis, I want you to close your eyes and imagine Aphrodite. Don't let Persephone make you forget why you're fighting. You're right. It's Persephone's greatest talent, making us forget the ones we love. Keeps people from wanting to leave. Let's remind them, shall we? At the base of the Palace of the Colossi, you'll find one of Hermes's inventions, stolen from his workshop. It's said to destroy everything it touches. What are we destroying? Atop the palace is where Persephone keeps her sleeping Colossi. Bring the device there and make sure they never wake again. The smoke will let every rebel camp in Elysium know the time to strike is now. What are we waiting for? Try not to kill anyone. Success without detection and death is sure to convert more non-believers to our cause. When we first met, I laughed when you said you wanted to escape Elysium. And now? I pity the god who stands in your way. So what will you do? I have some preparations to make before our final assault on Persephone's palace. I meant when this is over. I'm going to leave Elysium in the hands of the people. Then I'm going straight to Olibos into the arms of my love. Sounds like paradise. You've been a good friend. I never expected to find one here. Come find me before we launch our attack. The rebellion's almost ready to make it stand. I 
should check back with Ekati in case she's returned. And get some answers. Persephone, I was looking for Ekati. I can't imagine what you need her for, but never mind. Do you know what the hardest part is about my life here? I don't. It's not knowing who to trust. Ekati has been my dearest friend ever since my mother, the meteor, sent her to me. But after that nonsense with Lethe's water, I've been keeping a closer eye on her. Ekati always tells me where she's going, but not this time. My spies tell me she's about to resurface for a secret meeting at Iphigenia's compound. Sounds like the meeting's not so secret anymore. That's where you come in. Spy on her and report back to me. I'm trusting you with this. Please, don't let me down. I was wondering when you would arrive, locksmith. You know I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Ekati. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Cassandra about the key to the underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's cover. Why would I want her running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that. I know you've been spending a lot of time together, and undermining Persephone in the process. Cassandra has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power! Hermes, you know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> it's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Ernis. Let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. I need to get to Persephone first, no matter what. So? What did you find out? A cut has been working behind your back. What folly is this? An outsider accusing me of treason after breaking into your sanctuary. I couldn't have gotten in if Ekati hadn't given me the key. But you did break in? Yes! To steal a journal about the gate to the underworld. You are the only one with the key. Cassandra stole it from me. Just like she stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. But Cassandra destroyed it. Don't play games with me, Ekati. I know who was behind Lethe's water circulating in Elysium. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. I may be working against Persephone, but you've been helping me the entire time. There! Out of your own mouth! You're trying to overthrow me! You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquents operating in Defcalion's heritage after this outsider helped her. The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes, all poisoned with aconite, which you have quite the green thumb for. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider, that someone matching your description was seen fleeing the follower's symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekati is my oldest friend in the underworld, and for a while, I thought, my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over her.
Hecate has always been jealous of you. She wants your power over Elysium for herself. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Hecate's right. I'd have to be out of my mind to take your word over hers. Nothing's been paradise since you dropped in. You are no longer welcome in my palace. We've received word those delinquents in Def Helion's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Albanese's troops should be strong enough to take Persephone down. I should let him know. You know I love Persephone like a sister, Ernest. If I could free her from Elysium, I would. But freeing her from corruption is the best I can do. Hey! You're not supposed to be here! Keep her! Ernest, we have to go! <laughs> So you were the one I couldn't trust. Ekati has told me all about your treachery, including your breaking into my sanctuary. Ekati is trying to frame me. I had nothing to do with the break-in. You are the only one with the key. Cassandra stole it from me. Just like she stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. But Cassandra destroyed it. Don't play games with me, Ekati. I know who was behind Lethe's water circulating in Elysium. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. Half of Elysium knows Ekati wants you out of power, Persephone. Why can't you see that? You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquents operating in Defcalion's heritage after this outsider helped her. The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes, all poisoned with aconite, which you have quite the green thumb for. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider? That someone matching your description was seen fleeing the Followers' Symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekati is my oldest friend in the Underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word. Your quest for control is corrupting you. I heard her say that when you sent me to spy. That's why she's trying to undermine your reign. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Whatever part Cassandra may have played in my misfortunes as of late, you played a large role. And you are supposed to be my confidant in the underworld. My best friend. I had the best intentions. Whatever you were trying to do, you betrayed me. We've received word those delinquents in Def Helion's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Albanese's troops should be strong enough to take Persephone down. I should let him know. I've had scouts looking everywhere for you. I didn't think to check Persephone's... Of course you didn't. And thanks to me, Persephone blames Ekati. We have the advantage. That's so? Then we need to strike and we need to do it now. Mm. For Aphrodite. 
and for your freedom to breach the gate out of this realm. All right, master your troops. We're going to battle. Hermes, you shouldn't be here. Where else would I be while the humans burn Elysium to the ground? My friend, help me protect her. I have helped you, but nothing is going to stop this. The gate must open. After everything I've done for you, please, Hermes, listen to me. We haven't had the easiest friendship, the staff keeper and the keymaker. But you've done so much for me. Together, We'll get Persephone to stand down. Thank you. Let's go. Together. Stop! Pathetic! You failed me for the last time, Hermes Trismegistus! That's it. Persephone's control over Elysium needs to end. Now! You! Don't move a muscle. You're letting a human get in the way of our friendship. You let her get in the way! 
You should have told me yourself, but all I hear spouting from your mouth are lies. I've had enough. In fact, I'm going to do something about that. Don't. You are never fit to lead Elysium, and I hate your dress. Good luck manipulating anyone with your lies ever again. If I were you, I'd leave before I say anything else stupid. How did you do that? It comes naturally to me. You're making a huge mistake. With war brewing outside my window, I wonder what you'd suggest I do instead. Your beautiful Elysium has turned to rubble. All because of your stubbornness, Persephone. You fool! I made this place beautiful for you! Nothing I've ever done for your love has been good enough! You're a prisoner too. You should know it's impossible to love your captor. This is the last time I'll ask. Let us go. Let me go. You've turned this whole realm against me. But you didn't do it alone. Go. Your friend here won't be as lucky. Thank you, Persephone. I'm forever grateful. Go easy on Cassandra. Your turn. We don't have to do this. Just let me pass through Elysium. Adonis would have rallied the people with or without my help. You're lying! What about your lies? You made me a promise if I brought you Leonidas. <laughs> After everything you've done against me, don't make me laugh. But once I'm finished with you, maybe you'll be with your loved ones after all. Persephone, you don't have to control everything. You're free to let go. Maybe you can finally go home. You know nothing of what I've been through. I was stolen from your world. I had no choice but to take this one for myself. No time for that. Abstergos found us. Tell your boss I'm ready. Also, Bird could come get me himself, if he's not a coward. What the hell is wrong with you? What else could I do? They were out to kill us. Even Alethea ran for the hills. There was no reason to massacre them. Everything okay down there? It sounded like a war zone. We're fine, Alana. But don't expect much action anytime soon. 
Seems like this specific memory in the Animus is down for the count. Let me guess. That happened when you ripped me out. Great. That's the last thing we need. I had no choice. Complaining won't repair the computer. The memory files are overriding each other, and I'll need time to sort them out. You know what? I need some time alone. May as well head back to Greece until Alethea returns anyway. That wasn't so long of a wait, was it? I've patched the memories, and we're good to go back in the simulation. With Abstergo on our tails, we have to move fast. You can't blame me for being eager to get going. I won't blame you if you don't blame me for what happened earlier. It's just, Atlantis isn't our little secret anymore. Let's try to move on, shall we? Victoria, you have to trust me in there. I know what I'm doing. We're friends, Layla. But more than that, I'm your doctor. I can't ignore what's happening to your body when you're in there. Something is really off. I'm fine. I don't know how much more doctor talk I can take. Ugh, I'll never get used to that. She comes out of nowhere. I'm glad you're back. Bet even you didn't see that Abstergo ambush coming, Alethea. Not exactly. But as long as they're gone and you're ready, your journey with the stuff continues. After that cliffhanger in the pit of Elysium, you bet I'm ready. <laughs> I have to see what happens next. By interacting with the Keeper's insights in Elysium, Cassandra exchanged knowledge with the staff. That means by extension of the Animus, so have you. I gotta tell you, I do feel stronger somehow. Try to keep your head in there. Good luck, Layla. Hades. The last mortal to dance with Cerberus and live was Heraclius. But then he had Athena and Hermes wrapped around his mighty finger. So tell me, who's wrapped around your finger? Which god helped you slay my beast?
Your wife's the one who pushed me into a pit with your beast. My sweet Persephone pushed you to your death. And you've done us all a great disservice by not dying. It wasn't my plan to be thrown down that hole. But here I am. What do you want from me? Thanks to you, my realm is more chaotic than ever. With Cerberus gone, there is nothing to stop the dead from crossing over to the world of the living. So find another dog. You find another dog! I'm sorry you had to see that. The blood runs hot in my family. <clears throat> you did this, so I think it's only fair that you fix it. Fine. Tell me where you keep the multi-headed monsters around here, and I'll be right back. <laughs> no, 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 my dear Keeper. My realm, my rules. I have four gates. Instead of one guardian for them all, I want you to find me four guardians. One for each of them. The underworld is filled with kings, heroes, legends, all lost, all trying to find purpose. You could give them that purpose. The Cerberus was a fierce guardian. What human could replace him? No human could. A legend, though, immortal in the minds of the living, would strike terror in any who dare to cross over. Find me four of those. And if I don't find these guardians, then what? Boundaries between the world of the living and the realm of the dead will melt. The vile creatures locked away in Tartaros will roam free. Mortal souls will wander lost for eternity. And I will be very, very angry with you. Teach me how to use this stuff, and it's a deal. Ah, yes. The trials of the Keeper. I've already heard how you stop at nothing to figure out that boring little stick of yours. This boring little stick. Tell you what. Go talk to my ferryman, Haron. Help him put things back in order. And I'll help you fulfill your destiny. <sighs> See what you've done? These are everywhere now. Fix. Oh, I'll fix it. My brother and I have a little wager on whether or not you'll succeed in your quest. Don't let me down. You don't want to owe me twice.
was my day? Well, I killed a three-headed beast, got yelled at by Hades, and now I'm on my way to meet the ferryman of the underworld. <laughs> How was yours? The sun gives off no warmth. Are you the ferryman? A busy ferryman. Someone just had to kill the guardian of the gate, and now I'm up to my eyeballs and rotting you. So, unless some god sent you to plug all the holes and clean up the mess between the realms, I don't want anything to do with you. It just so happens that Hades sent me. What did a shiny, living flesh thing like you do to end up in debt to the god of the underworld? I, uh... <clears throat> ...may have killed Cerberus. Well, now that Hades' big dog is dead, rifts have opened all across the underworld. My passengers are being attacked by prisoners of Tartaros and all of his little dogs! Listen, I have to find four guardians to protect the gates and close the rifts. Hades said you'd need my help. Unbelievable. He sends a flesh thing through the underworld to fix a problem only the dead can solve. Only the dead can solve. So that's why I felt so weak when I fought those things. The last fleshling who worked for Hades wore a special suit of armor, but he's been torn to shreds. Now the armor's been scattered across the realm. My mother told me my path would be tough, but she never prepared me for this. And you're going to have to fight some pretty vengeful warriors to collect four of the pieces. The fifth, a set of gauntlets, has gone missing. You... do fine. What makes this armor I need so special? Forged on the bronze anvil that fell into Tartarus, it allows fleshlings like yourself to see things they shouldn't see, and go places they shouldn't go. Of course, Hades never mentioned this. He's very selective. You said something about prisoners. The Underworld's most horrific offenders are locked away in the prison of Tartarus. Many have escaped through the rifts and are putting the rest of us, hard-working, dedicated, passionate souls, in peril. What did you mean, exactly, when you said little dogs? The Hounds of Hades. Nasty little creatures who hunt and destroy the lost souls who want granted passage across the sticks by yours truly. Time to put this place back in order. All you need to do is collect some armor, defeat angry warriors, and find four guardians to protect the underworld. Right. Seeing as you're new here, I'll give you some advice. The Baron Pond, the Eternal Battlefield, and Hades Palace are all excellent places to start. And if you happen to have any spare time, I've got some work for you as well.
up out of it, Perseus. We're allies, and I need your help. Go to the gates and protect this place. Fates have mercy after all. Oh, Mystios, your appearance is what I've been waiting for. Funny. You're the last person I want to see. Of course, of course. Our parting terms were less than amicable. You sent me to kill my father and tried to kill me! Which I now regret. Deeply. Seeing the underworld torn apart by chaos has shown me the error of my ways. Enough talk! If you want me to believe your change of heart, prove it with action. Of course. I'd expect nothing less. What a mess. Elpinor, I expect this to be cleaned up. Of course, Hades. And consider finding a more permanent solution to the mongers' attacks while you're at it. The mongers here too? The monger escaped Tartarus. He's continuing the cult's work by recruiting other escaped prisoners as they exit the rifts. I've seen them. They put up a good fight. We've captured one of them, but he won't tell me where the monger is hiding. Threaten him, perhaps? What makes you think I'd help you? Hades and I are close, and you need him to teach you about your staff. Helping me helps Hades. He'll appreciate this, Cassandra. As would I, of course. Fine. But I'm doing this for myself. By Zeus! Not you again, Alpinor! Ah, I've heard enough of your spineless posturings to last two lifetimes. Sounds like you and I are on the same side. I can't stand Alpinor either. <laughs> You two seem pretty friendly to me. I'm the one who sent him here in the first place. He's a traitor to the monger's cause. Tell me where the monger is hiding, and I'll deliver Elpinor to him myself. All right, fine, fine. If only to shut you up. He's hiding out in the lost temple of Nyx. You'll never be able to take him down anyway. Exceptional. I've been tracking the monger from the moment the rifts appeared. There's just one problem. The lost temple of Nyx is behind the veil. The veil? Since Cerberus was killed, it spilled out into the underworld. The veil of Tartarus was created to keep out living mortals so that only those beyond redemption could enter the prison of the wicked. Which means you'll make it through just fine. But Haran said I would need armor. Yes. The armor of the fallen. Lucky for you, I may be able to help so we can both infiltrate the monger's hideout. You want to storm the monger's hideout together? Of course, a chance to fight alongside the mighty eagle bearer. No one would turn that down. Besides, this is my opportunity to prove that I've changed. Haron already told me that four of the armor pieces are guarded by the Fallen, but that the gauntlets were lost long ago. Haron tends to confuse lost with misplaced. Rest assured, I will help you find the gauntlets. Meet me at Kronos' treasury.
Sandra, I'm glad you've come. Would you blame me if I didn't? I learned your trust in time. And we can begin that process now. This door will lead us to Kronos' treasury, where the gauntlets you'll need are stored. I have the key here. If you want me to trust you, you have to start being honest with me. Why do you have the key? Hades had me tidy the treasury for him once. So what? You're Hades' housekeeper now? I like to work for him only on occasion, that is all. Think of me as his mentee. Hades doesn't strike me as the mentoring type. There's much about Hades that you don't understand. It isn't wise to steal from the Titans. The Titans fell long ago. No harm in using their tools to put a stop to the monger. I'll need those gauntlets if we want to catch the monger. My thoughts exactly. I'll offer my assistance as your personal guide through the treasury. Let's just get this over with. Of course, Mistyus. Whatever you need. There you are. You do realize how much time we could have saved if you had cleared the path. You left me to fend for myself. You seem to have made it here in one piece. Whatever here is. Cronus's treasury. Cronus hid all his worldly possessions here, far away from the sounds that had been prophesied to be his undoing. It was my favorite story as a child. All the myths, stories, and epics told throughout the generations were transpiring beneath us all along. And now we get to play among the gods, together. Let's find the gauntlets quickly. Over here. These gauntlets will help me get past the veil. Thanks for your help. My pleasure, of course. All right. Let's get out of here. So, um, how's working for the God of the Dead? You really want to know? Try me. All the myths and stories don't come close to the way this justice is. It's cunning, inspiring, a true architect. He's everything I aspired to be. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Let's keep going. politicians in Athens. Thanks to the power Themos gave me, I am immortal. After I kill you, Vimos is next. Ah! 